Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, you probably can't really see me very well because it's like midnight. Uh, and that's because I forgot to record this intro earlier in the day. But today we're playing one of my favorite concepts of all time. You guys, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm all about infinite combos. This is the kind of shit I get off to. This is actually why I love card games. I remember the fucking, the episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! where, you know, Yugi traps Slifer the Sky Dragon in an infinite combo. And that that honestly was like a really cool fucking thing. And I was like, yeah, I want to play card games when I grow up. So today we revisited the infinite mill deck that I built almost a year ago. And if you've been watching me for a while, you've seen me play this deck a couple of times throughout the seasons. But this time we've got some cool new toys with the new cards to give it a little bit of a twist with Time Trick and even Practical Perfectionist, the deck ends up being even a little bit better than before. Now, this is a, it's effectively a meme deck. It's its not going to be doing anything competitive, but it, it wins in a really unique way with an infinite loop that it creates, causing the opponent to deck out, which I really love. Now, I spent a decent portion of today's stream actually brainstorming uh, with you guys over at twitch.tv slash swimstream, and you know, you guys had a lot of interesting ideas for infinite combos that we could try to do in other kinds of decks. And I think tomorrow and maybe the day after, I'll mess around with trying different kinds of infinite combos. Uh, there's, you know, th there's ones across regions. But this time, just for the first one, we're going back to the old classic, the infinite mill, PNZ Bilgewater. So I don't actually want to, you know, spoil it for you guys. If you don't know how yet this deck works or you don't know how yet this combo works, just... You know, you'll see when you get to the games, it is uh, something quite special. And if you've seen this deck before, well, if you're anything like me, you never get tired of seeing this shit. All right, guys. So I'm going to put the deck link in the description. I wouldn't recommend playing this on ladder, but it's the perfect kind of deck to like challenge up a friend with and be like, hey, dude, you know, what's up? You want to play a game of Legends of Runeterra? And then on turn seven, you just whip out a literal infinite combo and your friend just sits there in amazement. All right, guys. But that's it for this uh, little intro. Enjoy the games from today. I know I did. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. There's the veteran. We're good. We got the creatures on the double draw. 33 card deck. This guy, this puny 25 card deck is going to try to match me. This is it. This is free. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Here we go. This guy literally gave up. This is perfect. It's an all in PNZ deck. This one actually has to be. This one actually has to be winnable. Copium. I think we're just we're just all in for early combo pieces, right? Like, what is he gonna do? Rush us down with Victor Heimer? Isn't Victor just kind of good here? You're always playing seven created cards. I mean, but my my created cards are already costing zero mana because of the because of the soloist. I mean, I could do the same combo with two Victors on my board. If I had two leveled Victors on my board, it would be the same thing as having played a soloist. But I think it would be even more vulnerable. It. I mean, there's a chance you could do it outside of Bilgewater, which is nice. He's still playing the inferior Bilgewater version instead of the Glorious SI version. All right, we got our combo pieces. I count three pieces of Exodia in my hand right now. Here we go. This is it, the dream matchup. His deck's not doing anything. Glorious Evolution and Victor. If you just have one Victor on the board leveled, I mean, how are you even going to level your Victor? You have to level him after playing Glorious Evolution? I mean... That actually, I don't even, we we would be able to get out of Bilgewater, which is a really big deal, but that sounds like even slower than this guy's, which is uh, which is not great. So he's foundrying, which I can't personally mind at all. Let's see, let's see what we're actually creating more copies of. Ooh. So if I skip this, does it not create more copies of anything? Like tomorrow, but in triplicate. That's nice at least. All right. So we're, we're double drawing every turn. This is this is okay. This is gonna be a, a bit of a weird puzzle. So we do need to deal damage to him on turn seven or maybe eight. But we're attacking odds or attacking even, so we want some way to you know deal one ping of damage here on our non-attack turn, which is actually noticeably difficult in this deck. There's not really ways we have of doing that. We need to use counterfeit copies. Alright, so we want to use Zap earlier. 
and we, we, we have our combo. We have our pieces. I think I want to use time trick first and see what we get. Third Zevi, I don't think will be useful. But I think more zaps can only be good. I'm not going to attack here, guys. We're not dealing Nexus damage. Oh. You think Pike is too tied to Lurk Dex? Yeah. <laughs> Something happened to your mic? No, there's a uh, some construction noise in the background. So we might be we might be overdrawing a little bit, but you know that's what we've got rummage for. It's gonna be a problem eventually. I might actually need both of these Zevies though, because he could have an he could like thermo the first one. So I think. God, who who would actually do that? Who would Thermo the first one? I think I can start by just um, rummaging the pool sharks. I can't actually need all this. And I want to get rid of my hand, so like Zonite Ocean is worth uh, more than pool sharks. Which is pretty funny. Ballistic Bot I actually might not be able to play for the same reason. Although Ballistic Bot is what's going to allow me to soloist on 7 with the Ignition. Yeah, let's play Ballistic Bot. I, I actually need the Ignition. Specifically, kind of So we've got four pieces of Exodia. We're missing one piece, which is the veteran investigator himself. Where's my veteran investigator? Uh, actually, double soloist can actually matter sometimes. I literally don't think I can ever use this pull shark. All right, we got the we got the final piece, the final piece of Exodia, guys. All right, this is perfect. Here we go. So we've got counterfeit copies. We can shuffle more in. Honestly, does Rummage being two mana even really hurt this deck? All right, here's our ignition, and we're gonna we're gonna need one more ignition coming in on turn eight. We get the ignition before any of our draws, which means the ignition is basically going to be guaranteed on turn seven for the soloist. Which means I can start by playing my first Zevi now. I can start by playing my first Zevi now. We don't want to burn too much off the top. All right. I mean, we've got everything else. We have everything else. We're gonna currently we're gonna burn one card off the top unless we use counterfeit on veteran, which I think is totally fine. I think I can just afford to use my first counterfeit on uh, on veteran, so we're not burning one more over the top. Some there's some times where you just want to use counterfeit on counterfeit, but we won't need to here. All right, so mechanized mimic is gonna get some scary keywords. That's ah, fine, couldn't be a threat. All right, here we go. <laughs> Wait a second. Sax man. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're not discounting yet. Wait. Wait for it. Here's our ignition. How much damage are we taking from this attack, guys? This is uh this is looking really scary. <laughs> Alright. We've saved for this perfectly. We we need to hit coral creatures into rummage. Right, my hand size is too big. Hexcore Foundry is countering us. All right, don't get elusive. As long as you don't get elusive, we're good. Ooh. I mean, Soloist is an elusive blocker, right? Wait, wait. We lost. Let's that have regen. I mean, if he wants to attack with the victor again, doesn't the victor die? All right, wait, 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 wait. Sax stops. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got answers. I've got answers. I've got zero mana answers. This is perfect. No, 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 no. No, we're, we're saxing. We're saxing. I'm pulling it up. There's, there's no possible way we're not getting this. Okay, this one's not going to be... This one's going to be short-lived, guys. There's, I think we're... I think we're, like, dead. Are we good? Oh. Alright. I've got the plays. I need coral creatures. I need coral creatures to attune and gain me mana back. I'm getting the ballistic bot out of my hand for space. All right. So I need coral creatures to start. I need to draw two coral creatures here. Clone it, Zevi. And that, that's that's good. That's good. It's still good. It's still good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're milling him. Twenty-three cards. Currently, his deck is bigger than ours, but that's fine. That's just okay. Fortune Croaker. 
All right, more veterans. Good God, who put all these fucking veterans in my deck? All right, still need a coral creatures. All right, all right. How much can we do on this turn? Without a coral creatures, counterfeit copies won't work. There's a Zonite. That's hand space, baby. His deck is bigger than ours. Monka. I need to predict exactly where the card is on top of my deck. Is the only way we're ever going to be good here. I could... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just have to discard the TF for now. All right. More veterans. Come on. Come on, give it to me. Down to 21. <laughs> I don't have any discards here. Zap Sprayfin. I might I might actually have to play for an extra turn. We have to kick our others, Evie. We, have, we got the creatures on the double draw. All right, we've got both coral creatures. Now I just need, these are gonna tune us up to two mana and we're ready for the counterfeit copies. We're ready to receive it. Counterfeit copies we still have as an option here. We don't have to get it off the coral creatures. We just need the mana from the coral creatures. But if we get it, we're nuts. Bloodbait. Wait, Bloodbait can allow us to mill him. We, we get an extra card in our deck. Wait a second. All right, so I have to predict when we're getting counterfeit copies because I'm going to need exactly two. All right. I've entered deep somehow. What? Wait, what? All right. Veteran investigators. There's the counterfeit copies, baby. That's one. Counterfeit on veteran. We need the other counterfeit copies as early as possible, but the veterans just chain it. All right. Use it on the non-fleeting veteran just in case this extends another round. My hand size. All right. We might have to go one more round. There's more veterans. <laughs> 16 cards left. My deck is growing in size compared to his. There's coral creatures, baby! <laughs> Alright, counterfeit. Mushroom cloud. That's damage. I mean, it's useless, but it's damage. Alright, we've got one more counterfeit copies in our deck. We've got one more counterfeit copies in our deck. We can spend the spell mana now. We can mushroom cloud. Just to give ourselves a chance, a double draw at one. I think it, we, we have to extend this one more round. We have to just pass here and redraw this entire hand. We, we're gonna need we're gonna need one more counterfeit copies please we've got draws we've got so many draws oh i needed to override the ballistic bots i messed up i messed up that's big overriding the ballistic bots actually mattered there that's okay that's okay that's okay we've got zap spray fins this is gonna be getting us more mana but we do need we do need to deal some amount of nexus damage i think at this point the best thing to do is just use the ignition on the bot so that we can get our other soloist out. Once our other soloist is out, we can play our zaps. And he can't stop this. All right. Second soloist. 13 cards left in our deck. 14 left in his. I'm getting this. One more copies. Okay, Soloist is discounting everything. Can't matter on these Ballistic Bots. Alright. Now we've got truly near infinite mana. Zap Sprayfin. There's our last counterfeit copies. It's redoubled. Both counterfeit copies. On to the other veteran investigators. And now... We've got our entire deck is all veteran investigators. Look at my deck. This guy's deck is puny. 13 cards. Not a chance. All right. Hand space is an issue. Twisted Fate is basically a big coral creature here. Look at him go. I can't overdraw. But it refills spell mana for free. Observe the hex lens tech. Alright. Cloning everything. We've got 
infinite investigators. I could override my TF. The TF leveling is only good for me here. If I override my TF, I play second TF. Let me override TF fast. This way, my second TF turns back into a zero mana TF. And if I do it earlier, then I can use my other blue card earlier. <laughs> All right, Fortune Croaker. You have takes a level up here. 13 cards. The last TF. I do need TF to level. This one's two. Two out of nine, but I can get there if I override one more time. All right, last TF coming in hot. <laughs> All right, and now we've got more than enough draw. Down to nine cards left. Zap for the last point of... All right. We've got so much attune at this point. We win. Yeah, yes, he's conceded. He, he realizes his deck is just smaller than ours. There's no way out of this. <laughs> oh, man. This is a really funny deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if only he didn't concede, but it's still fun. Guys, you think we're not doing that again? No, 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 no. How do you play bot? I mean, bot's really important to have uh, in the early game and for triggering plungers, right? That game played out in a really specific way where I couldn't have played bot, right? Save for Tlia. But bot's really important in this deck. I mean, he's going to have to be at least somewhat tempo oriented, but should be slow enough that I can just do this. I think I, I think I actually keep TF. It's another meme deck in normals. Maybe we've got a chance. The more he passes, the happier I become. And this deck can't really use pull sharks very early either. I mean, you you can if you're desperate, if you're just trying to block. Um, and they get out of your hand for zero mana later, which is really nice. But if we use it in the draw like a smooth solace, that's just a little too bad. There's no point in forcing that early. Actually, they're off blocking us, right? Like, if he commits anything here, that's only good for me. I think there's no downside in using one pull shark now. All right. Okay. We've got it. We've got a setup, and he's doing. He's going super, super slow. All right. So one Zevi's out of our deck. I think this is a good point to just play TF. Go for a nice clean blue card. Right. Well, now why no warning shot? Because Ballistic Bot is just kind of the same thing, but it also gives a blocker. Warning shot is kind of arguable, but the biggest problem with warning shot is Zap draws it when we want Zap to be drawing us combo pieces. Whereas Ballistic Bot just gives us the same thing, but better. All right. We've got our Zap, and Zap should get us counter for copies, although we have two time tricks in. We have two time triggers. I think we just played against each other. I was the weird Victor Diana deck. Oh, GG, dude. Yeah, I'm also on a bit of a weird one. TBH. I mean, I think I always just throw away my TF here. Bye, TF. And if I can save my Coral Creatures for later, that's even better. Hi, hi, TF. I mean, this guy's putting no pressure. Wait, I haven't seen a single landmark. But, uh, he played um, Preservarium. All right. So we just need to draw Zevi at this point, basically. <laughs> yeah. Zevi's Zevi's the last thing. And because that's what we need on Pool Shark, I think I can actually play my Pool Shark here. Since we're going to six. Because we just want to accelerate those draws. <laughs> Alright. We can save Shell Shocker for later. I want to play the bot now. The only problem is, if I play the bot now, without playing a second card, we actually are overdrawing our hand, which is a little bit awkward. I'll actually just do- nah. I'll do this for reactivity. Just because I'm probably playing a unit this turn, so reactivity actually matters. 
Is it a Howling Abyss deck? Oh, it might be. It's the kind of thing it looks like it is. So let's start by zapping. We let, Let's see what we get. Okay, so it's kind of it. And here's a vulnerable bot. Now we have a seven card hand, but because the suit soloist is disappearing, we definitely have enough. All right. So I just need a Zevi. Now I burned one. We've got two Zevis left in our deck. We just need to draw one Zevi. Practical is a good way to try and find one. Practical feels amazing here. I should probably just solo us now, though. Yeah. All right. Here's the soloist. He hasn't done anything. We're at 20 life. We've literally done more damage to him than he has to us. Just by using ignition twice. We've been skipping like every attack. All right. Talia is actually a little slightly frightening. She's she is more frightening than I'd like her to be. All right. Yeah, I mean, his server's leveling up here pretty freely. And these ignitions are actively bad for us now. Is, these ignitions have to be actively bad for us now, because we're not we're not low on rummage targets either. So if, we've got everything set up. We just need the Zevi. We just need the Zevi, guys. Taking a little Talia damage, that's fine. All right. He's at 25 cards. His deck is tiny. One kind of a copy should be more than enough. All right. Just give me a top deck. Give me something. Give me anything. I'm gonna start having to play a bunch of jump blockers. That's another soloist. And I mean, I can trigger it off the first one. I guess I'm going for double soloist. That actually kind of matters. Haven't I already gone through all my TFs? The second soloist doesn't matter like at all. He's shenny mudding. Wait, what does he have? I mean, I'll shenny mud back. I'm curious. Why not? Oh, troll champ. What? He knows. <laughs> oh my god, why? I mean, I don't even really mind. Alright. That's fine, I guess. Sure. Perfectionist, please give me Zevi. Just give me it. Just give it to me. Time trick is interesting. It shuffles more time tricks in. I can chain time tricks. I don't mind shuffling more in. And we have a lot of a tune in this hand. The odds that time trick will help me get Zevi are higher than the odds of skipping this. And I, that, that's the only thing that matters. Hopefully this doesn't end up bricking me. But I think shuffling more time tricks in my deck has to be necessary here. All right. I'm taking some damage on this attack. We're taking a bit of damage here. Okay. <laughs> play veteran. I mean, I can I can play my veteran afterwards. The thing is, this, this hand is so cheap. I actually, it's really, really important that I don't play the first veteran now. Because it's too. if I don't draw another veteran, I could be screwed. But if it comes to it, if I don't draw Zevi in the next like three draws, then we will have to just kind of fit and just start veteraning and hope she gets there. I mean, he can't kill me this turn. Look, he's healing and shit. That's useless. That literally does nothing. So I can literally just keep time tricking. I can time trick into time trick and get these out of my deck while I don't need the mana right now. This is actually perfect. All right, let's go. I'm just going to keep chaining this until I hit Zevi. There's a TF. TF can actually trigger Soloist for what that, for if it matters, it can't. I think I just TF to draw. I need to get to the bottom of my tech. I mean, I can still play Zevi this turn. I can still play Zevi this turn. All right, please. How are we? We're literally at turn nine and I don't have her. Come on. A second veteran is okay. Like that, that at least gives me, that at least gives me something I can play. Because it doesn't burn out my counterfeit copies yet. At this point in time, at this point in time, I still need the Zevi before I want to counterfeit. Okay, that's another good job. We're chaining. We're getting there. We're getting to Zevi. Okay, bottom 20 cards. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Okay, it's just tough. Yeah, what the? <laughs> you can, okay, his entire board has tough. There's literally nothing here. Hey, remember when they gave tough to Trindamir? That was pretty funny. Okay, how much damage is this? What's uh e. Nah, that's fine. This is never an amount of damage that I mind. 
All right, we've got to find it. We have so much draw. We have so much draw. Here we go. We, 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 we're, we're chaining. We're chaining. This fortune croaker is hitting like three more fortune croakers. I can keep the other soloist for like more draws. I don't have to block with her. She's just going to discount everything. Okay. This is it. Fortune croaker. Time trick. Here we go. Need the Zevi. Can't play it this round. We got Sevi. Oh yeah, we can play this round. All right, we hit it. We hit Sevi. That's it. We're good. Does he have an answer to this? Does he have a way to deal with it? He shouldn't. And I think that's it. Now, now we're gaming. Now we're doing it. All right, counterfeit copies. We can start now. And it begins. Oh, no, no, no. We're not going to the next round. Not a chance. We're, we're, you guys think we're letting this guy refill his mana? No, no, no. It starts now. All right. So we've got Zonite Urchins. These are going to draw us. 18 left. We need more counterfeit copies. More counterfeit copies here. We've got two coral creatures. Here's the counterfeit copies, guys. This is our discard fodder. Right. Two more. <laughs> There's the counterfeit. Where's my veteran? I actually need to. This is so funny. I need to kick my shell shocker here. There's another coral creatures. More fodder. <laughs> we have too much mana. We actually we can't even attune this much. All right, there's the veteran. We're good. <laughs> you think we were going to turn 10? Not a chance. Like I said, as soon as we draw Jet, as soon as we draw Zevi, that's it. It's over. It's literally done. <laughs> Wait, please give me a veteran, though. I have one more draw. Like, don't actually do me like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was actually... Like, That was that was a little short lived. And why does everyone just concede? <laughs> it's like people don't like being trapped in infinite loops. <laughs> Monster harpoon. No, no, no. We're not dealing with threats. We're just we're, we're just going off on seven. This deck can't afford to deal with threats. I could I could maybe see myself running two rummage. That is maybe doable. All right. All right, this should be easy. It's just like Yetis, right? I mean, not, not easy, but it should be more doable. Yeah, this is actually still a bad matchup, huh? I need basically maximum jump blockers in this matchup is the only thing that matters. So I think I have to kick my zap. If he's got a good opening hand with Yetis, then we will just lose. God, what if it is just two rummage? Okay. Oh, we can stop his attack with practical. Practical's nice here. Using practical like this is really early though. Shuffling, like I don't, oh God, using practical on turn three actually really blows. If this was a sump dredger, that would feel so much better. Practical feels like shit, guys. I might have to practical and just like skip the predict, even if it gives me something I want. And I think this one is an immediate skip. It's fine. Well, like, Sun Treasure literally just would have been a draw one. Oh. Shuffle more time tricks in. Not in this, in this matchup, we can't afford to shuffle more time tricks in. We don't have enough time to have that much mana, unfortunately. I mean, I can actually turn this TF into a threat by playing blue card now, which is pretty funny. Like that, that will have to be something to be removed because this deck does draw a lot. Okay, that's nice. That slows him down. Shuffle investigators? No, we need our combo pieces. 
We're shuffling investigators doesn't do anything until we have the soloist and the copies and the Zevi. Like, that's what this deck plays for. It's not a deck where we're trying to shuffle things into our deck, and it's not a deck where we're trying to mill the opponent. It's a deck that literally assembles Exodia, and nothing else matters. Right? That's why that's why Practical Professionist looks kind of good, because it's like, oh, it's more cloning, but that's, that's never how this deck plays out. That's why I might have to cut it. That's actually a really good rummage. I really, really like having that rummage here. This is amazing. God, remember when I caught rummage from this deck? That was really funny. I'm going to go back to two rummage after this. All right, there's a counterfeit. Yeah, yeah, two rummage. Two rummage has to be right. So because he's attacking on odds, we don't have to Zevi this turn. We don't have to Zevi this turn, which is really, really nice. We're just surviving his seven, and we're good. Because we're, we're surviving one more turn. So that means we can start, we can just play slowly. All right. We've got our pieces. All right. What are we even looking for in these time tricks? <laughs> That's a good question. What am I looking for in these time tricks? I mean, I think Coral Creatures plays around lose conditions the most, right? Another zap. I'm going to have, I will actually have enough. I will have exactly enough for another zap next turn. And that gives me a second counterfeit copy. So that's good. That's good. I think it's a guaranteed second counterfeit at this point. So I can use one mana for Coral Creatures here, but I gain mana positive if I don't Coral Creatures. I just have to survive this attack. Unless he's running like Battle Fury or something, we shouldn't lose to this attack. And I have I have more than enough mana for the going off. Yeah, all right. This is fine. Another 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, there's one more 5-5, five, five, but we're still, I mean, we're not dead unless it's literally a Battle Fury. It has to be Battle Fury plus something else too, which is even better. All right. Okay. We're set up. We're at a nice, healthy nine. Here we go. Perfect setup. Ballistic Bot, you've done your job. Here's the ignition. The only one that matters. We've kept the Coral Creatures just because... Oh, yeah. Oh, draw more cards. Sure, dude. All right, he couldn't possibly have answers for this. What's he gonna do? Like freeze and killing strike my Zevi? Okay. I need to I need to delay an action. Maybe maybe he'll spend his mana. I mean, he's not gonna spend his mana. But what if he did? Wait a second. I can't go off yet. Oh no way. I mean, that's that's a freeze down. All right, Poro. GG. Just to spend a little bit more mana. Just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Oh yeah, just a just a yeah, that's a good amount. That's a good amount. Just how about how about just one more of those? How about just like the smallest amount more mana? Just like, yeah, just just let me let me have it. Let me have it. I mean I think we're already safe. I need more counterfeit copies. Actually, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need I need more counterfeit copies. Alright. Let's go for it. I've gotta get the parlay out of my hand, because I'm gonna have hand size issues and it costs zero mana since I have to zap next. Okay, wait, wait, we're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. Hang on. And here we go. <laughs> All right, this is it. This is free. We've got 33 card deck. This guy, this puny 25 card deck is gonna try to match me? All right, I can actually, I can actually practical perfectionist here. It doesn't create exact copies, but I actually, I can afford to play one of them. I can afford to play one of them, that's fine. Might have messed up. No, it can't be worth it. It can't be worth it. It actually can't be worth it. I'm blanking. I'm blanking. I've got to skip it. That's so weird.
please. I just need like one more. Once the chain starts, it never stops. All right, two more. Okay. There's a counterfeit. Oh, two more counterfeits. If only I had, if only I had the mana to play these. Oh. <laughs> Shell shock is huge. All right, more counterfeits. It's all investigators, baby. My entire deck. If these break out, I'm tilted. All right, more investigators. Two more. Just one more and we're infinite. There's no chance if we get one more. <laughs> I'm overriding everything. All veterans. It's all veterans, dude. <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm not actually overriding that. Don't worry, guys. All right. And filling up. Down to 19. More mana. And this gives us the time tricks, too. Yo, Shell Shockers are popping. Oh my god. Alright. More mana. More veterans. Only 17 more actions left here, guys. Literally all veterans. Tall tails. Count it. Twelve. Oh, we got ballistic kind of late. We'll see how big he can grow, though. Poor ballistic. Poor small ballistic. Three cards down to nine. <laughs> oh, my hand is clogging a little. Wait, wait. I need, I need usables. Hang on. Wait, this is a bit of a problem. <laughs> we need to get through seven more cards. Seven more cards. My hand, my hand size. It's. I'm out of. I'm out of room. Wait, six more cards. Wait. 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 This is a problem. I've got to. I've got to rely on these last investigators. Damage. Yes. The time. The time trick is an investigator. Like I don't. I don't have enough mana for both. All right, this is good. This is hand size. Four cards left. Wait. <laughs> Guys, I can't play parlay. <laughs> We've got the second bot. We can make it. We can make it. I think, I think the second bot. I think the second bot is enough. Thank you, bot. You did good. This tiny little deck. How many? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Let me coom. <laughs> Please. Just one. Just one time. One time. I just need it. Please. Oh. And that's it. Three. Oh my god. Is so close. We actually almost lost that. Wait, two cards left. 
We've got the veteran. Wait, 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 wait. This veteran needs to draw one more. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait. The veteran didn't draw. Hang on. Wait. Wait, we can we can parlay now. <laughs> Crawl creatures too late. This doesn't this doesn't free a pan space. We we actually need him to draw one more card. We need him to draw one more card. I need to time trick and hope it hits. That's the only way. I need to play around Tall Tales. He, if he has Yetis on the board, he can't Tall Tales to shuffle back into his deck. I, I actually am relying on this time trick. This last time trick actually has to do it. If he has a second LeBlanc, he can't play it. It's too expensive. He only has one mana. He can't shuffle anything back. Time trick misses. I mean, it, it it's really, really low odds. I think I still have at least three non uh, veterans in my deck, though. One card left. He can't reshuffle. <laughs> We've got to go for it. One, the last veteran in our hands. <laughs> the last card. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're finally good. We finally did it. <laughs> GG, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Goodbye, hand. This deck is fucking great. Holy shit. Oh, tier one deck. This deck has like a 20% win rate, guys. That's higher than, like, given the fact that I'm literally conceding half of my games, it's higher than you would think it would be. I mean, it's unranked. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, obviously this is a complete meme deck. Um, It's pretty funny, though.